Welcome to the quiz from the Video Teach project. This one is about editing techniques used in video processing. Have you remembered the main points of the video course? Test yourself in this short quiz. Question number one. Which one of the following is not a way of moving from one shot to the next in video editing? Option A, panning. Option B, cutting. Option C, transitions. Now you have about 15 seconds to think about your answer. The correct answer is option A. In video editing, there are two ways of moving from one shot to the next, cutting and trimming, removing unwanted material, eliminating pauses and mistakes, and creating seamless transitions between shots. And then transitions, making the flow from one scene to the next smooth and engaging. Question number two. Which one of the following is not a cutting technique? Option A. Shot reverse shot. Option B, match cut. Option C, adjusting contrast. Now you have about 15 seconds to think about your answer. The correct answer is option C. There are different techniques of cutting between scenes. Some of the most popular types include match cut and short reverse cut. Also, there are techniques like J-cut and L-cut, jump cut, cut on action, cut-ins, or look object react cut. Question number three. Which of the following is an editing technique where two shots of the same subject are cut together? Option A, jump cut. Option B, L-cut. Option C. Match cut. Now you have about 15 seconds to think about your answer. The correct answer is A. Jump cut is a video editing technique where two shots of the same subject are cut together, resulting in a jarring and discontinuous transition. Unlike traditional editing techniques that maintain visual continuity between shots, jump cuts intentionally create a sense of discontinuity and disruption in the video. Question number four. Which one of the following techniques is used in order to insert a close-up or detailed shot into sequence? Option A, J-cut. Option B, cut in. Option C, shot reverse shot. Now you have about 15 seconds to think about your answer. The correct answer is B. A cut-in is a video editing technique where a close-up or detailed shot is inserted into a sequence in order to highlight a specific detail action or emotion within the scene. Cut-ins provide viewers with a more intimate or focused view of the subject, enhancing the overall storytelling and visual impact of the video. Question number five. Which one of the following is not true about shot reverse shot editing technique? Option A. The scene alternates between shots of the two characters. Option B. It is an excellent tool to use when editing an interview. Option C. The technic allows the editor to go back in time. Now you have about 15 seconds to think about your answer. The correct answer is option C. Shot reverse shot is a video editing technique used when filming a conversation or some other interaction between two characters. It involves alternating between shots of each character, 
typically with one character facing the camera while the other character is off screen or facing away. Congratulations! This is the end of the quiz about editing techniques used in video processing. We hope you enjoyed it, and if you like it, you can try another one from the Video Teach project. Thank you very much for going through the quiz with us. You can continue following us on YouTube or our other channels, such as Facebook or the official website of the project at videoteach.eu. All the content of the Video Teach project has been produced through the international collaboration of nine expert partners and is funded by the European Union.